Y'all ever heard of Audrey? Not Audrey. Sorry, sorry, man. I didn't mean to mess up your name. K- kinda, kinda. Uh, Aubrey D. Graham. You familiar with that name? Y'all may not know that name because he, he doesn't want everybody to know that generic, nice, white bread kind of name. <laughs> but that's Drake, in case y'all didn't know. Well, you remember recently we talked about his bodyguard being shot? Well, man, look, okay. First of all, first of all, I want to make sure I lay some groundwork for you, okay? Um, this message is directed at all the youth that like the thug life. I'm just, I'm making sure that you understand this is for y'all, okay? Because I want, I want this to get through to you. Uh, I'm not going to be condescending, I promise, and I'm not going to berate you. However, I, I do want you to see the uh, hilarity in, in this, these people that call themselves hard, okay? So, Drake, we're going to talk about Drake. Recently, there were some developments in this whole call uh, shooting fiasco. And uh, they got a hold of the security company that was on site at the time. The name of the group is Jungle Lion Security. Now, he, here is where the, 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 the twist comes in. See, Jungle Lion Security <laughs> is owned uh, by, by Drake. Yeah, see, see, he was the one that, let's just put it this way. The shooting w- was not random. It wasn't planned. It Well, it was planned, <laughs> but not by the people that you might think. Drake set this up for himself. You see, when you can't get street cred, you got to, you know, create the street cred. You got to look like if someone's really after you because you're that important. But when you're not that important and no one's really coming after you, sometimes you feel a need to try to make it, you know, make some fanfare out of it, build it up. You know, you build your own story and you create this narrative. Welcome to Drake's world. You see, now, now, again, for for the younger people who might think that street life is the life to, to have, um, not all of the people you listen to actually live the things they tell you. Uh, Drake's a, a prime example. They will tell you, oh, yeah, we about that life more. Pop a cap in this one and I'm going to make sure I go out and drive, drive by and shoot. All that stuff they sing. Yet none of them seem to really, I don't know, suffer any consequences for the stuff that they say. They, but yet still you go out and do it. Uh, you, you follow their advice and you all end up in jail. You, you don't see some irony here? Drake can actually hire somebody to do something for him to make him look like he's a thug and he still not go to jail. <laughs> but y'all out here, okay? Busting everything up, shooting at will, taking lives, and you end up in prison. Now, I want you to really think about that. For just one, just to think about it, work that through your mind. Just like with all the people you follow, you're going to end up doing one very, very, very big thing to yourself, and that's a disservice. You're going to end up destroying your future because you're listening to people that never did the things that they're telling you they've done. Drake is a, look, and the thing is, he didn't even really do it. He hired someone else. This is how unthug Mr. Aubrey is. He hired another guy by the name of Chubbs, his bodyguard, second in command, to handle all of this. Now, again, to you young people, the lure that these people put out in their songs to you to do the things that they're telling you to do will only end badly for you, not for them. They don't even get caught and brought in on instigation charges when you do something based on what you've heard. This is how protected they are compared to you. You buy their music. You go out and do the things they say, you end up on the wrong end of the law, and some of you end up dead. And these guys continue to go out there, make music, uh, stage crimes, and and get away with it, and making millions off of you. Now, Drake has always been soft. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Even down to that little commercial that he did where he was fangirling it's it, i'm sorry that's exactly what he did i don't care what nobody tell me he was fangirling and he was working out trying to act and then he decided to go listen to something that was not so workout ish he's notorious for being sweet and i don't mean nice so where is this thug behavior gonna come from well it has to be manufactured and drake did a job of manufacturing it people believed it man after this beef with kendrick people coming after drake because he must be the most wanted man on earth man is this life in the thug life is harsh Mm. 
hold them brakes just to pump them pump them you might be burning out the road but just do it anyway press on them brakes what if it ain't real what if the whole thing ain't true what if this whole idea of gang culture is intended to kill you and it is put under the guise of you being notarized for the things that you do while on the street and I, I understand you do get notarized a lot. You do. You do. Uh, trust me. I know everybody walks around with their chest puffed up and you, you're carrying your piece and nobody can't tell you nothing. And they do something to you. You're ready to spray. I get it. That's the kind of cred that you get. I get it. But let me ask a more important question. Where does it get you? Tell me the tell me one good place that has taken you. It hasn't taken you anywhere, especially when you listen to the people that ain't doing what they say and getting the money because they're doing it legally they, they they're smarter not the real challenges for you to, to wise up to we've been talking for a long time a long time for almost four years now about this these people will take okay here's another prime example if, if you don't want to listen to me about drake just look at jay-z jay-z started off where you are right yeah and then stopped but kept singing about it right he, he kept encouraging you to do it he dodged it went back to tell you how to do it and now you're not dodging nothing drake ain't no different i mean he's softer i get it but he's no different he will stage something to make himself look really really hard but he will never go to prison for it because he didn't do anything illegal but they're encouraging you. Please wise up to this tactic. Please, why? This is something that you got to start waking up to. You can put all that effort of hustling into something that will actually get you a future. I know that the promise that they offer you of girls and money and fame, it, it, it look, it's appealing. I can't argue with that. It's appealing. But at what cost? They mind you, they didn't get to theirs by doing what they're singing. They they do the opposite. They invest, they divest, they get brands. You don't have that. And they're not telling you how either. Now I can only hope that for something disagree, because someone did get shot, by the way. Someone did get shot. So he was actually in the hospital. If if Drake actually instigated this particular event for cred i hope that he does pays a price somehow some way i'm not holding my breath for that because i kind of like living right now i'm not holding my breath because if i did i'd be holding it till i pass out if you never listen to us about anything young people this is what i want you to hear as loud and clear this is as clear as i can make it the people that you are following now do not care about you. You only matter to them as far as your dollars will stretch. Once that's used up, you're of no consequence. They want you playing it in your car, in your house, seeping into your brain. They want it natural to your body when they themselves are home free. If nothing else, Stop letting people like Drake lie to you. The way he lied to the public about the shooting. Because the end result may not be as lucky for you as for his bodyguard. Your life is hanging in the balance. So you better choose wisely before you end up six feet under.